And joining us on the phone now, September morning, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. There she oh, is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic, too. Good to talk to you guys. So you're going to be in town Saturday for, uh, for Street Fest. And just uh, give a quick rundown, really quick, for anybody who might not be familiar with September morning, uh, September morning, the female, the comic, the band, everything, because it is all of those things. Um, can you give just a, a quick synopsis for anybody who might not be familiar with the band? So basically, September Morning is a, is a transmedia project, which means that it's based on a storyline. And the storyline um, goes through every single source of media that we can do it through. <laughs> the music, the comic books, um, the stage show, uh, you know, anything that we do online. Um, it's all kind of like um, circumvents back to the storyline. So it's all based around the central character named September. And she is a human reaper hybrid. She was human. She was chosen by fate, who's personified in the uh, in the comic books um, as the antagonist. And she was chosen by fate to um, have her soul reaped by a reaper named Riven. He fell in love with her, couldn't do it, uh, gave her his powers. She becomes this human reaper hybrid, and she sets out to basically wage war against fate um, to help the the living in this prolific, uh, epic battle between the living and the dead. So she's like the warrior of the living. And some of the other members of the band are also in the comics, such as Riven. Yeah, Riven is in it. Um, Rafe, who's um, the eldest and strongest of all the Reapers. Um, and Stitch, who basically jumps through space and time to collect everybody's souls. And how many comics are how many comics are we in at this point for uh, September uh, morning? We're into the third issue now. Um, the first two sold out. Um, they're in your lo- they were in your local comic book stores, but they're all sold out now. Um, and then the third issue came out digitally uh, recently. We've been selling that on tour. We've been on tour recently promoting that. Um, and then the first. Four issues, which continues the story arc and concludes the story arc in one graphic novel, will be coming out in January of 2019, um, January 16th, actually. So we're pretty stoked on that. How have things changed from the beginning of September morning in, in all different aspects and in all different mediums, from the comic books to the bands to everything else? How have things kind of changed through time up until now? Um, it's just gotten more intense, <laughs> you know, uh, the storyline, the, um, the costuming, you know, everything's just kind of, we've sharpened the, the sword, I guess, as it is. Mm-hmm. And, um, and just really focused on the characters and the, and the comics and, and telling the story in the, in the most, you know, awesome way we can. And I think it's, it's really reaching people and coming across and, and we're gaining a fan base. And it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see it all come together. And is it um, anything new for you personally? Um, comic books, TV shows, movies, anything recently um, that you've gotten into that has, has it maybe inspired you, maybe not inspired you. Maybe it's just something that you're into, but it, you know, Netflix, anything like that, um, that, you know, it's, it's grabbed your attention and it's kept you busy for a while. Um, well, I mean, I always look at I always look at the writing on TV shows. I, I've been like researching that a lot recently because we're kind of delving into like different um, different media aspects with the with the comic book now being successful and stuff. Um, so I'm looking at the writing on these TV shows, and and I don't know if you've checked out Ozark, but on oh, <laughs> I just finished it. I just finished it last week, the second season. The third. Oh, the second season. Oh, okay. Yeah, the second season is amazing. Like, it's like, it's just, it's, it's, I don't know. The writing on that show and all of the, the storylines that are intertwining and the character development and, and just how awesome it is. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's an awesome show. Like, I am obsessed with that show. So, yeah, I'm I'm really liking Ozark. Um, I just, I just finished watching Narcos. Um, which I hadn't seen all three seasons of that. Mm-hmm. Like, um, and that's an amazing show. And I, I love how it brings in 
the actual footage of, you know, like what actually happened down there in Columbia. Mm -hmm. And it brings it into this. So it's like this weird docu-series that's actually not a docu-series. So it's, it's, it's very cool. Um, and then also the second season of Iron Fist. Now, I am not a big Iron Fist fan. I've never been an Iron Fist fan. I thought the comics were eh. You know, mm -hmm. I was like not yeah. really stoked on them. But I don't know if you guys were, but I watched that first season and I was like, ugh. I was like, this is not good. I wasn't, I wasn't able to get through it. I mean, I, I think I made it into the second or third episode and I just, it, it, there's too much other stuff to watch. To to, yeah. to to waste my time with something that feels like a chore. And, and, and Iron Fist felt like a chore, but is season two different? Yeah. The season, I'm going to tell you right now, like, season two is pretty good. And I, oh, wow. And I hate saying that because I am such like a, like I was a little bit of a hater on season one. <laughs> like more than a little bit of a hater. But season two is actually not bad. You know, it's it's it kind of... And I think they did a really smart thing. Like, um, Danny was the big lead character in the first season. And not for nothing, but I just don't think that actor and character, like, I, the way it was presented, it just did not carry that season. And mm -hmm. I think that's kind of what made it crash and burn. And everybody felt that. And then the second season, they take the, the pressure off of him. You know, they, they give it to other characters. They expand on those other characters, and the villain becomes like a, a, almost a lead character, in it, and it's really good. It's it's like they they did a really good job of revamping it. The writers were really smart on it, and to that to that degree, I'm like, okay, I would I would definitely say try it out, try out the second season. Would you Especially say finish the annoying. first or just go straight to the second? I mean, you kind of need to know what goes on, but they do do a recap okay. in the beginning of the second season. So, like, read the Wikipedia on the first season. <laughs> that's <laughs> no, that's exactly what Lisa that. does that's generally what I anyway. Do. Yep. She doesn't, she does, Lisa doesn't watch TV shows or movies. She just goes to the Wikipedia. Okay. And then oh, watches well, it. Good. Then you're fine. Okay, so, so read the Wikipedia. Yeah, I do that too when I don't want to deal with it. So read the Wikipedia. <laughs> And then watch the second season and let me know what you think. Because okay. I, I, I was actually pretty much like the first episode, I was like, oh, boy, we're into another season one thing and it's going to suck. But then I got into the second episode and I was like, OK. And then the third episode, I was like, OK, I'm down. This is cool. <laughs> like, I got this, you know, like so you have to give it a minute. But like, if you do, you will be pleasantly surprised. So, so, did, yeah. so did you watch all of the other Netflix Marvel shows, uh, you know, Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and The Defenders as well? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a huge, well, I'm a huge comic book nerd, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, and um, I mean, I love Marvel. I, I love the, I love the universe. I mean, I'm a, I'm a bigger DC universe person. Like, I, I just like it. I think it's a darker universe. The villains are pretty badass in DC. Um they're just amazing, and, you know, I think that, uh, you know, a Marvel is great, and they're really very, very good at telling stories across a media platform like TV and film. Mm -hmm. So for that, I just, I'm like, okay, I'm going to see what they're up to. And Daredevil is probably my favorite out of that whole group. Um, Punisher, second second favorite. Um the first the first season of Punisher was actually really really good. Yeah, I loved um, it. Yeah, I was I was very impressed by that. But Daredevil still stands as my as my number one guy in that in that episodic sort of like universe. And you have so, yeah. uh, season three, I believe, of Daredevil coming out in just a it couple is. of weeks. Did you see the teaser trailer? No, I haven't seen that yet. Oh, you got to watch it. It's really good. It's really good. It, it doesn't say much, but what it says, you're like, oh, man. And you hear Kingpin in the back. And, like, so I guess Kingpin's coming back. And, and Kingpin's such a great villain. And he was so well done in the first season. I'm just so stoked to see him come back. So um, the big question is going to be, like, who's going to take him down? Is it going to be Frank Castle, mm -hmm. Punisher, or is it going to be Daredevil? Or is it going to be, like, a result of everybody in that universe? So, yeah, it's going to be really cool. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Thanks so, for the nerd out session with us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're, we're thoroughly enjoying it here. <laughs> but 
Lucky. But I'm telling you, you start me on comic books is what you're gonna get. <laughs> hey, I love there's it. absolutely nothing wrong with that because we could even we could even delve into the whole uh, you know Captain Marvel coming out and talk about you know <laughs> we can make it worse and and, 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 would, and and who would have survived the uh, Thanos the Thanos snap of the fingers or not? Mm-hmm. I think we did. There was a website. Yeah. What was it called? It was like, do you survive Thanos or something like that? Yeah. And all you did was punch in your name, and it yeah. would tell you whether or not you survived. And I think everybody on the really? show but Me. Joanna I survived. Did not survive. We lost one member of the show in the Thanos <laughs> snap. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so That's a horrible way to go. <laughs> so coming up on Saturday, September morning, going to be performing at Street Fest. Um, and, it's, and it's not a simple... Just get ready and go hop up on stage. So for anybody who does not know or is not familiar with September Morning, how long does it take you to prepare how you're going to be up on stage? Uh, Three hours. Three hours every night. Oof, right? (laughs) Yeah. It's a a three-hour process with wigs, makeup, costume, you know, everything like that. And you hand um, make everything, don't you? Yeah, um, I I designed everything. I designed it for for the comic books and and work with the artists and stuff like that. And then um, we just um, I work with a costume designer in LA that I'm very close to, and I designed it. And she kind of like helped me make it. Um, and you know, same thing with the the guys' costuming and things like that. Um, everything is is kind of out of my brain. So <laughs> at, at one point when you were designing it, did you think to yourself, oh, I can't believe I like I'm making this worse for myself in the long run because it's going to take <laughs> me that much longer to get ready. Why didn't I simplify this thing? I like never think like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always the, I am always like, OK, go big or go home. I'm kind of that type of person. I'm an extremist. So I, you know, I mean. You know, sometimes I have that feeling and that thought halfway through tour. Like we did a six week tour recently. Um, we're at the tail end of it. This is this will be our seventh week going into it um, to see you guys, which we're really stoked to see you guys. Um, and and it's like, I think in week four, I was like, you know, <laughs> is there anything I could have done to make this a little bit Simplify easier? Simplify just yeah. a little bit. Maybe save yourself <laughs> a couple of minutes here, a couple of minutes there. Yeah. But you know, when when you when you get into the tour and when you get into touring, you start doing everything faster because it just becomes this regimented sort of like, and it's kind of like being in the army and they're like, okay, this is how you put the gun together, do 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 do, you know, like, and I'm like, this is how I do my makeup, boom 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 boom, like it's it becomes a little bit like that, and you do get faster at it. So I've probably shaved off, you know, a few minutes here, a few minutes there. Um, but yeah, it's still, it's still kind of a trek to get it all together, but mm-hmm. I like it. I, I actually really enjoy it. It's, it's part of the process. Um, and it's kind of like part of the transformation because I, I, I become this thing on stage, you know, I become this character and, and in order to become that character, I have to go through the, you know, go through the regiment, you know, and, and, and put myself in that, in that place mentally to become this this thing so it's, it's kind of cool in For a way three hours good lord <laughs> all right so uh, coming up on saturday you're going to be here for street fest what yeah. can everybody expect from september morning when they're up on stage what kind of show are people going to be getting themselves into well we call these we call our quote-unquote shows we call them soul collections basically mm-hmm. and um because you know it's reapers they're collecting your soul so I mean, you're basically going to to see a, an adaptation of the comic book come to life, you know, um, with live action characters. But it's it's like it's kind of like rock opera esque, um, musical theater esque, but like no jazz hands and no cheesiness, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> none of that. You know, it's 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 uh, lots of head banging, lots of energy, um, and these comic book characters, and you're gonna get get you're going to get it by the end of it you're going to feel the story you're going to you're going to see it visually you're going to hear it uh, you know um in an audible way and mm-hmm. you're gonna you know you're gonna get this you're gonna understand the whole thing the whole narrative um in an audio visual visual sort of way and i think it's, it's i think it's really cool i think it's 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 like uh-oh i think they cut her off 
Oh, she said she did not have a time limit. <laughs> well, apparently somebody told her she did. Oh, no. Oh, it's oh wait, she's, she's calling right back. We'll give Joanne a couple minutes here to, uh, I wonder if I she dropped she, her phone. I was going to say, it sounds like she might have dropped her phone. Because <laughs> she was mid-thought, so. Yeah. I think we're going to be, uh, she's like, get oh. September morning right back here on the phone. I think we're good. Joanne, are we good? Okay. September, are you there? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> I didn't know there was a jump in the space-time continuum. (laughs) 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 Um, But anyway, no, like I was saying, you know, you get the full effect of September morning on stage. You're going to feel the story. You're going to know the story. Uh, We we like to bring you into our world for about an hour Mm -hmm. and let you, you know, let you marinate there. Take your soul, and uh, then we let you go. <laughs> so well, that's what you're gonna. That's what's gonna happen. We're definitely looking forward to it. It is September morning. Uh, she and the band, everybody, they will be in town coming up on Saturday. Uh, three issues of the comic out, graphic novel, going to be available coming up in January. Is when that was. Yeah, January um, 16th of 2019, and that's through Image Comics, um, subsidiary Top Cow, uh, and you can pick it up at your local comic book stores you can actually pre-order it pre-order it right now at your local stores um it's definitely in the previews so go ahead and go go down there and do that if you can and if you do want to check it out um september and riven joined me this was over a year ago this was may of 2017 on an episode of the after buzz so if you want to head over to buzzadamshow.com and familiar familiarize yourself a little bit more with september morning uh you are more than welcome to do that definitely we are looking forward to seeing you on saturday night september yes it's awesome thank you guys so much for having us we're really stoked on doing it all right we'll awesome. see you on saturday okay cool thanks bye Bye.